YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. There's been a lot of talk lately about all these newbie liberal preppers that are coming into the prepping community. Uh, so I figured it's Monday morning, I want to have just a little fun with it, and I have the top four reasons why all the liberal preppers are going to die when this shit hits the fan. And the top four reasons why they won't. Just so you know, it's totally cool for me to make fun of liberal preppers, because in the prepping community, I definitely fall more towards the liberal, progressive side of the, of the scale. At least I'm told by a lot of my commenters. <laughs> uh, I, but if you're not convinced, I can prove it. Uh, there was a Super Bowl yesterday, I guess. I, I heard about it the day before yesterday on National Public Radio. I didn't really pay attention to who was playing. I don't know who played or who won or if it was a tie. There you go. See, we're dealing with stereotypes here because it's fun. It's comedy. So don't blast it in the, bot, in the comments below. It's just fun. Satire. Have fun with it. So let's let's see the number the four reasons why uh, liberals are going to die in SHTF. And I say why not start with the bad shit because progressives always focus on negative shit, right? All right, number four, they're all a bunch of skinny vegetarians. They don't have that that big uh, mass to sort of carry them through the starving days. So I mean they're just all going to starve to death for that reason. Um, reason number three, uh, you know they all live in the city, which are going to turn into these urban hell holes when the shit hits the fan. So just they're just not going to survive in that environment. They're not out in the sticks where all the conservative people are. Again, just dealing with stereotypes here. Uh, reason number two, um, honestly, all the progressives are going to, when the shit hits the fan, all the progressives are going to be so busy being offended by shit that they're going to forget to eat or do anything else. It'll just be like 24-7 being offended by everything around them. Uh, and the number one reason why, cons uh, not conservatives, why liberals are going to die when the shit hits the fan, a tie-dyed peace sign on your shirt. Looks a lot like a bullseye. Just saying. <sighs> okay, so that's all very sad for all those liberal preppers. Let's get to the reasons why they're going to survive. Uh, starting with number four, uh, they're going to know about everything first because uh, they'll have heard about it on Snapchat. So they'll have that operational advantage of early warning on everything. Uh, number three, bugging out in a Prius. Do you know how much farther you can drive on a teaspoon of gasoline in a Prius versus a Hummer? Uh, versus a Hummer? Plus, they, like, they can just like turn off in like those giant traffic jams leaving the city and they're not even going to be burning through any fuel while they're sitting in traffic. So uh, they're, they're going to be able to bug out much more effectively. Uh, number two, um, well, they're, uh, liberals are all a bunch of overeducated individuals. So like when the shit hits a man, they're going to MacGyver the shit out of that. They're just going to use the noodle, just MacGyver the shit out of it. And the number one reason why liberals are going to survive through the apocalypse where everyone else will fall victim Solar panels, dude. All those solar panels. Right. Right, so if you know my channel at all and read any of the comments and discussions that I have, you know that I'm not a big fan of political labels. I think most people that are liberal or conservative, they don't really know or understand what the hell they believe. I mean, they, I think a lot of them just think of it like it's a sports team, like the Super Bowl. I, I live in New England, so I must be a Pats fan, I guess. I think a lot of people with their political affiliations are pretty similar to that. I know lots of liberal people that'll drive out of Taxachusetts to go to tax-free New Hampshire, you know, even though they are supposed to want to support government through their, their taxes. And I know plenty of conservatives, you actually hear about them in the news, plenty of conservative people that are pretty liberal with their sex lives. So, you know, I, I think people are pretty much the same. It's just sort of whatever team you kind of associate with. I think some of it has almost more to do with which team you think you're not on, so you must be on the other one. Like, if you're, like, some dude and you're clearly not a militant lesbian, you're like, well, I'm not one of those, so I can't be a progressive. I must be a conservative. And, you know, and it goes in the other direction, too. I'm sure there's liberals that just realize that they're not a rich white guy so they're thinking, well, I must be a, a liberal. But they still don't like paying taxes <laughs> and all the rest. So I, I, I really just, I, I think the labels are just silly. They're just things there to divide people. Um, and most people are kind of have pretty much a, the same values when it, get, when it comes down to it. Liberals like freedom and conservatives, you know, aren't all living on an island off by themselves somewhere. So, yeah, they're silly labels. But it's Monday. We can have fun with it. And... Uh, I hope you laughed a little, just a little, not too much. It's Monday. Get to work. It's a work week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.